What's up, YouTube? Wanted to give you guys an update on uh, my Coral Life BioCube. I mixed some salt and added the salt and sand last night, so this is still the first 24 hours of the cycling. And on top of that, I went ahead and hung this shelf up above the tank, uh, nice and square with the tank. It was a little bit odd to do it, but I managed to make it nice and square because it's in the corner. But I did get these into a stud, and I got that into a stud, so I wouldn't have to worry about this light uh, ever starting to lean in towards the tank, or actually falling into the tank. But uh, I put that fan there in the back, uh, to keep the tank cool in case it starts uh, getting hot. Uh, the skimmer, I'm not actually running right now while it's cycling and still clearing out the fines of the sand. Uh, just because I don't want the little fine pieces of sand uh, settling at the bottom of my skimmer and the same thing that goes for my reactor so right now really all I have is my return pump and this mixing pump that I use uh, just to keep the water circulating more I am trying to get the tank up to temp uh, it's at 75 right now uh, it was pretty cold last night so the temperature kinda dropped I had to make adjustments with the heater um, this is what it's looking like so far guys uh, as far as media I am going to be placing that FOS band inside the reactor and the Chemipure is actually already in the tank inside that chamber down in here and I also added uh, about five 10 milliliter caps of this Biospira to help with the cycling process of the tank. Uh, it made it a little bubbly at first but um, you can see a lot of little bubbles are gone and that's why they tell you not to run the protein skimmer when you add that. So that was another reason why the protein skimmer is not running. But I'm assuming within the next 24 or 48 hours I will have the reactor and the skimmer running and I should be able to settle the temperature on this tank and get it nice and uh, stable at 78, 77 and go ahead and add some live rock. Give you a little example of the lights. Uh, here they are low on blue and full spectrum only. Well, these lights are pretty cool. Let's see if I can uh, get you a shot of the colors no. it is a full spectrum LED so I'll be able to put all kinds of stuff in this tank um, I got the light 10 inches off the water line just because I mean this is really a huge light it's 120 watts so I got it as high as I can and it still looks pretty good uh, good thing about the light, I can always use it for something else in the future, but for now, it will be supporting the life inside this tank. Well, let me know what you think, YouTube. Happy reefing.